need to target something first. Hi folks and welcome back to Raps Corner. Today I want to give you a guide uh, on Marksman. Uh, a full guide this time uh, because I've been doing bits and pieces and I want to gather it up so we have it kind of in, in one place. I want to make it a fairly short video so it's not going to be like a 30 minute video because that's just... I mean we can... we can yeah it's, it's going to be too much. Uh, talking with you about talents and covenants, um, stats and gear, a bit about consumables and then rotation. I want to make see if I can hit 15 minutes or so, but let's just see how it goes. Talents, you play master uh, master marksman always with uh, with two set or more. You play careful aim with less. Explosive shots is really good for uh, for AOE uh, in in mythic plus. Natural mending is what I pick uh, the most. Camouflage you can do in mythic plus if you don't want to use your hidden uh, spirit potions. Uh, streamline and steady focus is actually interesting. Uh, most people play uh, st uh, play streamline in Myth Plus because it's easy, but you can also play uh, steady focus. If you can keep it up like 70% plus of the time, and this would be also best in single target. You need to be aware of you need to cast two of these steady shots in a row to keep up the buff. Um, post haste is what I preferably use. Double tap. There's no discussion. This is best. And in terms of single target and AOE. Uh, you have to play volley uh, in AoE. It's it is best. And let me just get my macro down, so it's ready to be used. Um, yeah, that will be best. The covenants. Uh, and did I say that it's lock, lock and for single target? Yeah, maybe I did. Otherwise, I did now. Um, if someone says any kind of ads involved, volley. Right. Covenants. There's actually something to talk about with Covenants. Um, this is interesting because the, 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 the Marksman Hunters has kind of divided them up, sales up in two. This is from Wowhead showing that you have uh, the current the Hunter population is divided in Kyrians and Night Phase. Uh, where most Kyrians they play Pelagus, I play uh, uh, Force Light, and then you have the Night Phase with uh, Nia and Dreamweaver. Okay, so we can talk about these, uh, these four. Uh, a bit, and then Venti and Necro. I'm not going to cover them because it's 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 never been interesting, and I've been focusing all my time on Night Fae and Kyrian. Um, I would say it depends a bit on what you want to do. Uh, to be honest, uh, I think that uh, I'm playing Kyrian, and I can start with Kyrian. Uh, you have two options. People play Pelagus because of the combat meditation. The combat meditation means that if you uh, cast your Resonant Arrow. Uh, which is going to give uh, crit inside, then you're going to get uh, this common meditation for your uh, mastery. You can then run into these orbs to extend the duration. You can see now if you extend the duration, you can see that you're going to get you have 27% mastery, and this is going to drop down to 20 when the stacks wear off. So down to 22 and then down to 20. Uh, this is on a one minute CD uh, with Resident Arrow, which is really good because mastery is good for us um, if you don't want to play Pelagus uh, I play Forge Light uh, Prime and the reason I do this is because uh, of the well two things actually I play Hammer Genesis Survival Hunter knows this because it's kind of best for them um, you get 3% haste for each target you hit up to 5 targets which means 15% Haste for 10 seconds on a new, every new pack you engage. This is like a mini bloodlust, and this becomes even better with Forset because now you get more haste. And haste is not like a desirable stats before Forset, but once you get Forset, you need you're casting a lot more aim shots. And these aim shots requires that you just be casting faster and faster, where haste lowers the cooldown on aim shot. So this is why I play Hammer of Genesis. Also, you get uh, this ability down here, uh, the Anima uh, Accelerator, which means that you're basically turning on five targets or more. You turn your resting arrow into a 40 second cooldown, which means it's going to pair perfectly up with Volley for AoE. And I like to play Mythic Plus, so that's really good for me. If you then don't, let's go and take a look at Blood Mullet. Um, if you want to play, I mean, there are other options. and it's it is uh, with Dreamweaver and Nia. We can talk about it a sec, depending on if you're playing Hectic or not. This is um, Hectic. You can see uh, Pelagos actually comes out uh, high with Force Light Prime, but it's I mean, a bit of difference. Soulbinds. 
always deadly chain in AoE. Always. It 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 means yeah, I mean always. It means that you uh, you get more damage uh, from your uh, tr uh, trick shot on secondary targets on secondary targets, which means it's useless in single target because there's no secondary target, is there? It's a single target. Duh. Now, um, so if you're playing uh, Pelagus, Deadly Chain are always in Feeble Mark, always, and then you have a third one for uh, Sharpshooter Focus, which is quite nice. This does this keeps uh, Resident Arrow on one minute. Here you get it on 40 seconds, right? And you get the haste buff here, right? If you play Night Fate, Dreamweaver for single target is super good. It is super, it's also good for uh, Mythic Plus, but you have to stay in the Field of Blossom area, and that that is a struggle for some people. And this is kind of what's been driven me away, because I've been trying so many times in raids, and especially in Mythic Plus, that you have to move out of the Field of Blossom, and then it, then the value of Dreamweaver is lost. You play with Spirit and uh, Spirit, Spirit and Tunement, Sharp Super Focus, Deadly Chain. Nia gives you the Grove Invigoration stacks. This is really nice. Uh, you play then with Triple Potency. Uh, you can also play with Burst, of course, but if you want. But you play Sharp Shoe Focus against Spirit and Tunement, Deadly Chain. The Grove Invigoration means that you get like all these stacks of Mastery uh, when uh, you use your uh, Wild Spirits. And also, this means that uh, your Wild Spirits, uh, you don't have to stand this field. So you can move freely with a mass with a lot of mastery buffs. You also get these mastery buffs from time to time when you're just fighting, which is nice. This gives you freedom to move, and this is important. This is this is about personal preference. Uh, try it out and see how you enjoy it. Night Fay gets super much value on four targets or less with their wild spirits. It's on two minute cooldown, um, but the unity. Which means that Wild Spirit hit twice on five targets a sub. Just means that you will not get anything on big packs from your Unity. It's the, the effect is lost. But if you're doing uh, on a five, to, uh, four target or less. Uh, so especially in raids, uh, if you're doing uh, like Pantheon, four targets, Wild Spirit is amazing. So in raids, I normally play uh, Night Fae. Um, but you can also definitely play. Uh, you can also play Kyrian, and I'll show you here on the patchwork uh, that I mean, uh, Dreamweaver comes out higher than uh, than uh, Pelagus, for instance, or Force Light. But we're we're not talking much. And I simmed it uh, a, uh, like a couple of days ago, and I had like 2.3 percent damage difference uh, overall. So that's not that much. Let's talk about stats quick. I did mention it before. Crit and Master is always good, and Haste becomes better and better with Force Set because you can then cast your aim shots more, and you're casting so many aim shots anyway. So it's it becomes a better stat. Sim yourself, see what's best for you. With gear, uh, there's the Force Set, of course. With Force Set, you craft uh, as well. You have your Vigil, which is bis. No matter which covenant you're playing, it's best for Force Set to have Vigil, Unblinking Vigil. It's best. I have Unity on my head slot because of the stats, and I get a socket, which is really nice. Um, and then we have trinkets, right? If we're gonna have to trade uh, trinkets, you have to sim. But uh, if we use, let's say, in this case, we can use uh, Wowhead's uh, guide for gear. Just to give you an overall idea, but you have to go sim if you want like perfect results. Uh, Sigil is good. So Quantum device is good. Some people play with both. I like one passive, one on use. Tr uh, Secret is good. Uh, Ooze is good. I play with the Eternals down here and then Sigil. That's perfect preferences. Sim it. See what's best for you. What else can I say? That's what you have to do. Consumables is a boring subject. Uh, if we have to talk about it, um, then uh, I mean, I play with uh, the optical in beginner for AOE. You always pay in for revelation, and then you can go read if you want stats or skirmish, uh, agility on boots. I have mastery on rings, leash on cloak, and then of course when you're when you're in game, you make sure you buff yourself with food. 
uh, you have a flask of course you have runes if you got them oil on your weapon and then pots of course when you are bursting uh, which is really important especially I mean especially in raids when you do raid bosses um, you can also get uh, prolonged potions if you really want to like max and use it like two seconds before uh, that's a like it's a super good trick uh, if you're doing a big pull in the beginning of mythic plus use a prolonged potion i think i have some of them in packs here it lasts for a minute and you get 39 of uh, all your stats and it, hey uh, secondary stats and it's really good uh, and, it, and it won't count because you used it uh, before like two seconds before the pull good it's a good tip now uh rotation i'm kirian i'm uh, I'm f uh, playing with uh, Prime because of the AoE. So we're going to do the AoE first. As Kyrian, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Double Tap and of course Misdirect on the tank, which is important. Otherwise, with this burst, you're going to attract. You're going to attract ads if you don't Misdirect on the target. It is so important. Then it's going to be Double Tap, Resident and Arrow uh, with a mouse over macro. Then volley on a mouse or acro, so we get full effect of the 30% increased crit inside. Then we're gonna pop CDs manually. I haven't used a soul bind for this yet, but this is something I should. A soul bind. Key bind. Getting tired, sorry. And then we just got hammering. Then we're gonna watch um, uh, for uh, vigil procs, and then just make sure that we use our vigil procs and aim shots. And if we start. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then uh, yeah that's it so without further ado uh, let's go take a look uh, oh, I'm good I'm making a video um, it, when we start we don't want to start on zero we use the bursting shot first to start on 10 to make sure that we get a trick shot no matter if we have uh, a volley up or not now let's go take a look so Double tap. And then resident arrow, volley, and then we hammer. Let's see how, how we can go. Still casting, aim shots. Yeah. See, we're on plus five. And then we're on zero. We have to cast one multi shot there to get back in the trick shot pool. Yeah. We can then start using our precise shots here once we have uh, uh, these babies on CD, for sure. And then we just keep moving, uh, keep pouncing, waiting for things to come back on. All right? Okay. So far, so good. Peace be upon. Once we are fighting a single target, this will be the last part of the video. With single target, not gonna go change around. Uh, you're gonna get if you want to play with. I mean, it doesn't matter if you're playing Pelagus, um, or if you're playing Forge or Night Fae. We talk about the rotation now, and then you can kind of pick whatever you want. I'm just, I'm not gonna go change. This is one take. Um, if you uh, play with single target, never use Deadly Chain. It's completely useless. Pick precise, uh, powerful precision, and swap it. Uh, Sharpshoot your focus, and then of course your uh, covered in a bit, uh, you're, you're covered in one in this case with uh, uh, Force Light Prime. Um, now, I'm not going to change it here, we're just going to talk about the rotation. You are now playing with Steady Focus and you're not playing Lock and Load, so I'll just remove uh, Volley so we don't get uh, confused. Since we're playing with Steady Focus, you have to cast two of these babies at some point to get the haste buff. Otherwise, it's a useless talent, right? But otherwise, it's the same deal. We're going to uh, double tap. Uh, we're going to put out our Covenant ability, Wild Spirits or Resident Arrow. And then we're going to hammer with uh, our CDs. Go, 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 go. And then we want to make sure that we cast these Steady Shots. You can, if you want, start with these Steady Shots. Um, or you can, uh, sometimes you have to move uh, in the beginning to get in positioning on a raid boss. You can definitely use these two while moving, because this is a spell you can use while moving, uh, to get in position. That would also be a good idea. So 
and then you can burst afterwards. Because once you have CDs, you want to just focus on casting, casting, casting. So let's just assume that we have a raid boss and he's going to be positioned and, uh, and we're going to have to position with him, right? So in this case, we will double tap and then uh, as he get moved, we kind of steady shot, steady shot, and then you see, now we're good to go. It's not really and then we start hammering. Yeah. Two of these new babies to keep the stack rolling. Now, once this gets to zero, what we're supposed to do here is that we are supposed to uh, use an an arcane shot uh, to uh, put it on plus 20. If we have... Um, all right, see, I already dropped my steady shot stack here because I'm trying to explain. That's bad. Here! We use an arcane shot to get it on plus 20, and then we just keep rolling. And I shouldn't have used double there. Now we double tap again because it's ready. And we can use our covenant ability again. And then we just keep rolling. Two uh, steady shots. And then we just keep pounding. Again, we have these on CDs. So we use our precision shot. Getting back on two aim shots, we don't want that. Yeah. Never want to starve ourselves so much with arcane shot we can't we get that we can't cast our again we have to use steady shots again. To keep it to keep this buff as high as possible, yeah. Um And then we just keep going. So, with that, with that said, um, yeah, with that said, uh, this is how kind of you 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 work your uh, single target. Uh, never sit on two aim shots. Never overcap your focus. Use your precise shots which you have. At least one of these babies on CD. Don't starve yourself on focus. Make sure you always have for your aim shots. And yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you find this guide useful. I hope it wasn't too long. I tried to cut it down. If you've got questions, then you know, put them in the comment section below. I will definitely answer them. I'm going to make new uh, a new guide for survival and for Beastmaster. One like this that covers everything. If you liked it, then like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. This is Rap. Out.